Okay, that's Staggily, and I went through how to play that first verse on a, in a different lesson, but now I'm going to talk about doing verse variations for Staggily. I put together a book called Improvising and Variations for Fingerstyle Blues, and one of the lessons in there is about taking Staggily and coming up with different variations based on the cage system. <clears throat> so I'm not going to talk about the full-blown cage system. You can check that out either in the book. Um, I have some descriptions online a little bit about the cage system. Really quickly, it's taking C, A, G, E, and D chord shapes and moving up down the neck to get new chords. So for instance, I'm gonna play a variation on Staggerly. Uh, using those shapes. So let me play the variation and then I'll explain to you exactly what's going on as far as how the cage system fits into it. Okay? Okay. Uh, Staggerly is just three chords. D, G and A. And I'm taking these chords and I've moved them up the neck. You'll see all these chords in this variation that I just played um, are between the fifth and the seventh fret. There's a D. Here's a G, or this is actually a G7. Okay, and then an A7. So, how are these cage chords? Well, the first chord is based on an A shape. See if I use these three fingers here, if I go all the way down to the second fret, that's an A chord that most of us know. If I move it up to here between the fifth and the seventh fret, it's a D. Uh, in the original verse for Stagger Lee, I was using an open fifth and fourth string as my alternating bass. So I can still keep that going by just actually fretting three strings instead of four strings. So what I do is I take this shape, uh, fourth, third, and second string, and take off the fourth string and just fret the third and second string, and then my first finger is fretting the first string at the fifth fret. Now I've got... I'm maintaining the, uh, I'm maintaining the same bass pattern I did for the original verse in Staggerly over the D chord. my pinky free to uh, play different notes. And there's my D chord. Uh, for G, the um, some of the cage shapes work better than others. I'm going to replace G with a G7. So what I end up doing is I have a D7 shape and use my first finger to fret the fifth and the fourth string. So essentially I'm barring with my first finger. Now, we have alternating basses on the 5th and 4th string. Back to my D chord. Then the A chord. This is based on an E shape. You know, bar chord that most people know. I'm only going to fret uh, or bar 4 strings at the 5th fret leaving the fifth string open, and then I have my middle finger on the third string at the sixth fret. My alternating bass is now on the fifth and fourth string. All the chords you'll notice, the alternating bass is on the fifth and fourth string for this verse. Leaves my pinky and my ring finger free to play other melody notes. So here's my alternative verse. So that's one variation. I'm going to show you one more variation. 
Um, let me go ahead and play it and I'll break that one down. Okay, now this chord shape uh, may not look obvious to you, but this is actually a G shape chord. G here. If I slide up till I get to the 10th fret and bar, then I have a, uh, a G shape. Now that's a hard chord to finger, so I'm not actually gonna use the full shape. I'm just gonna bar at the seventh fret and have my pinky playing the first string at the 10th fret. And now my alternating bass, going to be gone between the 5th and 4th string. All the chords for this verse are going to essentially be played between the 7th uh, and the 10th fret. And so now, since I'm already barring 4 strings at the 7th fret, I'm going to lay down a C-shaped chord, and this will be my G chord. might take a little bit of work. It's taken me a lot of work uh, over the years to really get this one to sound good, but back to your D chord. And then still barring, um, actually you don't have to bar for the A chord, but you just can leave your first finger where it is. Then you go into a D shape. The, uh, that's the A chord for this verse. So let me play through the entire verse. those verse variations as instrumental breaks if you're singing a song, you know, please, officer, how can it be? You can rest everybody, cool steadily, he a bad man, that cool steadily. And those, all those variations are based on this thing, the cage system. And once again, if you go to my website, learnbluesguitarnow.com, you could get your own copy of this book. It has a tab. Uh, it's got the audio. Uh, you can also download just the uh, digital version of it. Um, and uh, I'm going to try and do as many of the songs from this book as I can on video here. So. You can see how you can piece together verse variations and improv for fingerstyle blues. Thank you.